Hey everybody, it's Kenny here at the Kentucky Cosplay and Comic Convention here at the Claren Hotel. And my first guest, this is my fourth time interviewing this lovely lady. And this time, I'm interviewing her from her own booth this time around. I'm just going to point that uh, name up. Hazel Days is joining me. What's going on, Hazel? Not much. Just hanging out, having some fun at the Kentucky cosplaying toy convention. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I get that. It, it doesn't flow very easily. Yeah. It, yes. It's one of those things. It's trying to say that five times fast. I know, right? Yeah. But uh, let's talk about the Q&A panel you had a little bit earlier. Um, a little different from usual Q&A panels, but uh, you and the other ladies did pretty well. Uh, how did you feel about the Q&A panel? It was a lot of fun. I, it was a little rough getting started, but sometimes at these smaller conventions, people are very more, much more introverted. Yeah. So it's hard for them to reach out and ask questions because they may feel scared. And they may think their question's dumb, but they're not dumb. Um, so it took a little while, but it, when people, I think, responded to how much fun we were having, like Allegriana and I don't remember the girl who uh, did the uh, Harley Quinn, but she was adorable. And that was her first panel, too. So we ended up having a lot of fun. There were some pretty decent questions there after a little while. I do want to point out that that was the first panel I ever attended for a convention. And I'm glad that I went, and I'm actually glad that there was no moderator involved. It was just you ladies. Y'all yeah, pretty much bothered with it yourselves at that point, and uh, I enjoyed it. Um, so here you are, it's Black Canary. Um, uh, slightly different from the one that you wore at Scarefest, but I enjoyed the outfit. What, this is the one from Arrow. Yes. So, um, I mean, what is the one thing you like the most about Black Canary that that keeps you wanting to wear this outfit from convention to convention? She's married to Oliver Queen. <laughs> I'm a big uh, Green Arrow fan uh, for at least a decade. Who's my first comic crush? Um, but otherwise, uh, Black Canary is, at least fundamentally, she's been this tough chick. She She's not afraid to get her hands dirty, and she likes to fight more than she likes to use her powers. And that was one of the things that I admired about her, because she will, you know, go all hulk out, you know, on these people with her fighting skills and use her power as kind of a last resort. I, I was not too familiar with Black Canary until I first met you for the first time, and thanks to you, I'm a fan of Black Canary. <laughs> So, that's awesome. Um, anyway, for those who want to check out Hazel, she's going to be at this convention tomorrow, yes. and she will be dressed in honor of Easter. She's going to be dressed up as a Playboy Bunny. I'm going to zoom a little bit. Just There's a little sneak peek right there, a little glimpse. Uh, it's a fun outfit. Fun. <laughs> so, you got any other plans for uh, for the convention, or are you just going to be chilling in the booth? Yeah, just going to be chilling, hanging out. There's been some fun people here, um, some of the celebrities, like Santiago from Walking Dead, he's a good buddy. Um, and of course, cosplayer Allegriana, she's amazing, I love hanging out with her. Um, yeah, and the Ghostbusters, love my Kentucky Ghostbusters. Shout so yeah, out to the be Gus hanging Gus. out and talking with people, hanging, you know, doing some fun things, I guess. What random nerds do when we get together. Hey. We geek out. Oh yeah, we, we definitely do that. That's just how we do and that's going to be some spectators that may not understand what we do or how we get down, but we're human. We like to have fun. We just do things a little differently. It may not be what y'all used to doing, but that's just how we roll. Uh, I don't know what else to say. And, <laughs> and Hazel just did a little wave for a moment. Uh, and uh, so let me also let me also ask you this: 
um, hazeldays.com. You got Instagram. You got Facebook. Um, I got Tumblr, but I don't know how to use it. I just upload things on my Tumblr. Yeah. But you can I'll, find me like Hazel underscore Days on Instagram. It's D A Y Z E. Um, and I think Tumblr's set up either with an underscore or a dot between Hazel and Days. I'll try to keep it similar to the madness. I, I'm, I'm familiar with Tumblr, and I do have a Tumblr account myself, and when I first used it, I thought maybe I could do something with this, and then for some reason, I went back to Facebook or Twitter, so it, I guess those, those came first, so, but. It seemed to be easier to use. I, I've locked myself out because I forgot my password, but, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever had a, a time in your life uh, has there ever been a point when it comes to conventions or whatever, or pretty outside of conventions, you're going through your daily routine and you get you get that feeling, I'm going to be a hero or whatever, outside of your cosplay, something like that? Um, like what do you mean with uh, being in costume? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Like, one of the greatest moments was when I was finally putting on the... Um, Snow White sock hop um, costume for the first time and I was in the mirror doing my eyeliner and I started to cry because <laughs> I was like I felt like a princess <laughs> so I was being dorky but it was it was like a special moment there she's one of my favorites to do for especially with little kids so as a little kid as a little girl usually you want to be a princess and so I was kind of seeing it happen, and so that was a moment where I kind of melted. So it's not necessarily, well I guess princesses can be kind of considered a hero in certain ways. You know. Yeah, so that's probably the closest to answering to that question. <laughs> <laughs> I got my last question for you. You mentioned at the panel that you consider Lexington, Kentucky like a, a second home of sorts. You're originally from Virginia. What is it that you like the most about Lexington that you consider a second home? I love the town. I love the architecture. Um, the people seem to be great and friendly. I mean, we've played tons of friends here from going to the Scarefest or the Lexington Toy and Comic Con. And then here, of course. Um, so that's always fun. And it just seems to have this nice, calming charm. A little old-fashioned, but a little bit more up-to-date. And um, I like the energy here. So I'm hoping, you know, once my house in Virginia is paid off, yeah. get another one here. <laughs> Who knows? That'd be fun. Hey. Why not? I'm trying to. I lived in Lexington for probably a good seven, eight years. I enjoyed it, and uh, now that I'm full time, trying to move back to Lexington, maybe. So it's just something about Lexington. I mean, it, it the people, yeah. just the downtown, and yeah, the downtown's just charming. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, Hazel, as always, interview number four in the books. Uh, Thank you so much. You're and um, we know we gotta do number five considering it's Easter Sunday. Uh, appropriate with my buddy. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Well, thank and uh, you. you enjoy the rest of your Saturday, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and everybody please check out Hazel at this convention. It's at the Claren Hotel Convention Center, Newtown Pike. Uh, tomorrow hours from my understanding will be from eleven for the VIPs and everyone else from noon all the way to 5. So after you take care of your Easter festivities, please check out this convention. This is their second convention. So they, they starting to grow, but they need support. So go check them out. Hazel, again, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right.